Hi guys, I'm Ben and welcome to another episode of Underground Reviews. Today we're looking at the new album from one of, if not my favorite, modern technical death metal band. Hailing from France, of course, I'm talking about the amazingly cool Gorod and their album, The Orb. So when I was having my extreme metal rebirth throughout the 2010s, one of the bands that really made me fall in love with Tech Death at the time were the French groovy bastards known as Gorod. I remember being so captivated by their ability to write extremely intricate and complex riffs and progressions while also infusing it with an insatiable groove that just wasn't found in any other band in this genre. While they uh, tackled at times serious concepts on their albums like The Revenge of the Varingian Queen on A Perfect Absolution or the mystical and other aspects of artistry on A Maze of Recycled Creeds or the various moon gods on Aethra, for example, they were able to infuse the, ex the extremity with a sense of uplifting fun and excitement. They achieved this too without becoming cheesy or novel in any way. I kind of came in late to the band around the time of A Perfect Absolution from 2012. And while I think all their albums are great, and perhaps I'm biased due to my entry point, but from my point of view, the band really honed their songwriting craft on that album. And moving forward, it would only get even more infectious, catchy and memorable. But again, I have to stress, they did this without losing their edge at all. And this music is still hard hitting when it needs to be. On 2015's A Maze of Recycled Creeds, the band really created a masterpiece of this original sound, and it's still my personal favorite album from the band. However, their follow-up from 2018 called Aethra, which drew some minor criticisms in some circles, is not far behind in my book, however. Also a great album. Loaded with killer harmonized riffs, uh, which are really the bread and butter of this band, with dynamic and interesting drumming that allows the music to breathe, and topped off with a great vocalist in Julian Darius, who, Darius, I think, is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, who masterfully moves through screamed, growled, sung, and spoken word vocal techniques that lend themselves perfectly to the music and to the storytelling nature of the lyrics. Anyway, that brings us up to the newest offering called The Orb. So how does it stack up to the fantastic pedigree of this band? Well, the band clearly know they have a winning formula here and they have they really haven't abandoned it on this album. Again, the vibrant interlocked guitars of Matthew Pascal and Nicholas Albany are on fire here, as usual, of course. The riffs are, as always, very lyrical and expressive. And unlike many tech death riffs, which can sound sort of unhuman and machine-like, Gorod's guitarists create very emotive passages while not skimping on the technicality either. Again, the drumming from Carol Dyers is perfect for this band, in my opinion. I really enjoy his feel and groove, and I think he's one of the most underrated drummers in Tech Death. He plays sort of more like a jazz fusion player at times, and it really helps color the music with 
that fun, exciting, and ultimately dynamic feel that I was talking about before. And Benoit, I guess, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. It's spelled B-E-N-O-I-T. I'm not sure. Like French names. I'm really sorry, guys. I always, you know me. I always fuck up uh, foreign names. I think it's Benoit Klaus on bass, you know, who's been there from the beginning. He does a great job moving um, from sort of a supporting role to out front moments of brilliance as well. And Julian De, uh, Deiris, again, brings his full range of talents to bear here. I love the way he always sounds like he's telling you a story in his delivery. It's another of the many elements that sets Gorod apart in their genre, and it's continued in fantastic fashion throughout the orb. I only have a couple of minor criticisms of the orb. Firstly, the song order feels a little off to me. The first two tracks on the album, which are both great, by the way, aren't to my ears as strong as the next few tracks. And so on the first few listens of the album, I found myself getting more excited by the album around the midpoint. Of course, this is a minor gripe though, because those songs are great too. I just feel the flow is a little off in the beginning. The other gripe is the album cover and the change in the logo font. Compared to their last few albums, the cover art feels very boring and doesn't scream out to me to play the album and why do bands always change their logo font all the time it's so annoying the new one uh they developed for a maze of recycled creeds and aethra this one here on my shirt um it's just you know it was awesome and much cooler than than the new one in my opinion anyway i, I just don't get why bands do that but whatever um, especially when they already have a cool one, you know, like they, they'd already changed it to this one, which I think is very cool. But anyway, um, but you know, look, it's a minor gripe because this is a fantastic album with amazing standout tracks like the title track, which is killer and damn infectious. Um, you've got Savitri, which Clocking in close to seven minutes is the longest track on the album, but it's just so damn cool. So many amazing expressive riffs and grooves. Um, you've got Breeding Silence with its aggressive raw power and supremely cool main theme riff. I mean, I could just list every track, actually, because they are all equally killer, really. They they even throw in on the end of the album uh, a very cool cover of the Doors classic song, Strange Days. It's really unexpected, but actually they make it work and it fits perfectly. Gorod, at their essence, are kind of a poster child for technical death metal. And so I think people who are into that aspect of metal Oh, sorry, uh, who aren't into that aspect of metal might miss out on them. For fans of the genre, I most certainly think there is many things for, for you to discover and love about this album, and most Tech Death fans will mostly, most likely already know about it. For those less interested in the genre, I would still give it a chance because even though they are that classic example of a pure Tech Death band, they do it in a wholly unique way. For fans of great guitar playing and composition, groovy and technical drumming, and great epic storytelling, you really can't go wrong with The Orb or Gorod in general. A fantastic album from a fantastic band that grows on me more with every listen, and I highly recommend it. So how would I rate this one? Well, I'd happily give this one, this great album, a 9 out of 10. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stay metal and see you next time.